Lesson five golfers, how to hit the driver. If you haven't watched any of these uh, videos before, I'm Dave McKinnon, I'm the head professional here at Chorlton Kamali Golf Club. If you haven't seen the videos, you can, you can flip back, they're up here, starting on how to build a golf swing. Today's lesson five, and we're talking on how to hit the driver. Okay, the driver. So this is the one that gives everybody the headache. There's a saying in golf that um, you can't win it from the tee, but you can lose it, meaning you can hit, you can hit a great drive and it doesn't mean you're going to win the tournament, but if you hit a bad one, time and time again and putting yourself in trouble, it's pretty sure you're not going to win. So with this video today, what this is going to help you do is hit your driver more consistently, getting yourself in a better position, giving yourself more opportunity. So take it for what it is, the tee shot. It's to get it out there, get it in play and give yourself a chance. Okay, don't overthink it. Don't don't tie yourself up and don't dread it. That's the key thing. But what we want to do is get the ball striking more consistently. People always say to me, how can I hit it further? Hit it out the middle. If you hit it out the middle, that's one factor that will definitely give you more distance. So the way we do that with a better technique, I'm going to talk you through that now. So the key thing is what I see is most people are slicers. They hit the ball left to right. Every, you know, for every 10 lessons I do, nine of them I slice the driver, I slice the driver, I'm in trouble off the tee. So what I want you to do, and what I see is, right, so they get a hole like this one here at Charlton, and they slice the tee shot, so they're going to aim further left to allow for that. They swing it up there, and they think, right, and the more they swing left, the more the ball will swing off to the right. They're putting more and more spin on it, the more they, the more they head left. So what you've got to do is feel and see and get used to, that's the key thing, is getting used to where straight is, where square is. So do this at home, in the tiles on the kitchen floor. If you go to the range or you come out, just put some alignment sticks down. I put one on the, on the target line and then I put a little tram line next to it, a little track, so I know where my feet is. And all I'm after is my feet equally distant. Now, if I know I'm this way, I know now that my left foot, I can see that I'm aiming, I'm aiming off, to the, off to the left. So I want my feet equal distance from the, this front line. This line is my target line, so I know if I hit it down this channel and I can see my face is square to those lines, that now I'm stood straight. I know that I'm now aiming that club where I want the ball to go, which makes a lot of sense, really. A lot of people aim where they don't want the ball to go, allowing for it to slice back in. The more they do that, they sort of hit a shot, all right, over there, over there, over there, swing it. The ball slices massively off to the right, losing control, but also losing loads and loads of distance. So, just get used to seeing what square looks like. That's key, because at first, you'll get on the course and you won't have the confidence to pull the trigger from that position. But the more you see straight lines, the better you're, you're, you're going to find it. Then we talk about how we're going to position the ball. So I know like we've said this before, but as we're talking about the drive, it's important. So I like my ball forward, so I have it in line with my big toe. So what I can feel from there is that I'm hitting the ball on the up. It's not like the iron in the fairway wood where I need to hit down on the shot. I need to get this on the way up to launch it. So I have mine on my big toe. Now a great little tip, two little to think to, to create, the right, create the right setup is put your driver on your chest bone like this and then just tilt. Now you just tilt so the, the grip touches the inside of your left leg. That gives your shoulders this launch angle and it also gives your forearms this launch angle and you get the feeling of hitting the ball on the up. Now, to get your arms right, again, for the people who slice, they get this, this right arm very on top of the club. Little tip, get your head cover and put it on the knuckle of your forearm right on the knuckle of your, fore, your back forearm there. And what I want you to do is to keep that in. And what that does, it tucks that elbow in and stops it getting on top and aiming that club up that left side. So it's a great little, this is great that you can do it in the house. Tuck it in, it can be a tea towel, anything, a sock. Tuck it in, get the ball forward, and you'll feel that that elbow's into that, into that rib cage. Okay, once you're in that position, we're set off to hit a good drive and we're trying to get the driver out the middle of the club face. Okay, so we've got our sticks out and we've got our little channel down here. Now, one, what I want you to do is work off this top stick and you're gonna swing everything inside this top stick. So I don't want you to see you coming down and across. 
and I don't want you to see you going this way because we're trying to create a centre strike and we've got more chance if we come back square and through inside this stick, okay? So let's keep it simple. So wider feet, ball forward on the toe, okay? Working what a straight line looks like because we've doing some of the work there. A little tilt with the elbow in. From here, we were looking at just nice 75% swing, 70% swing, nothing too mad, because we want to find the middle of the club face. So good setup, and work everything inside this stick, okay? And you'll find that you hit the ball more out the center, straighter flight, longer, straighter drives. From there, You've got more of a chance hitting your second shot into the green or laying your second shot up, but you're not putting it yourself in trouble from the word go. Get this into your game, work on them little, little basic setups and thought processes through the drive. And again, find the middle of the club face more, you'll hit more fairways and you'll do more damage when you're out on the course. I've been Dave McKinnon. I look forward to seeing you next time.